Hello to our global partners, I'm Bosco from Intel, I'm the account manager for Huawei for Asia Pacific Japan region. I'm connecting with you today from Hong Kong. First of all, I would like to say thanks to Huawei for inviting us to be part of the sections. So to really start off the section, I would like to say a few words about the partnership, the relationship between the two companies. As you can see, we start off the partnership from 2001. It's a long time. It's the 20 years of partnership. So throughout the years, we have done quite a lot of good things together. So for example, in 2017, uh, Intel and Huawei had signed an MOU, which has helped accelerating um, the innovation in the high performance computing area. And in 2018, Huawei launched um, the first Intel Select solution uh, for the Fusion Sphere and Fusion Storage Power Line during uh, the Huawei Connect event in Dapakapuri. And in 2019, which is just last year, so after Intel Data Center Innovation product launch, Huawei on the same day is also launching the Fusion Server Pro Intelligent Server, which has adapted a lot of new technology from Intel. For example, of course, uh, the second gen Xeon uh, scalable processor. Not just that, other technologies like Intel DC Optin Persistent Memory, they also is available at the platform on the same day. And the partnership, the relationship, they didn't just stop there. So for Q1 2020 this year, uh, after Intel has launched uh, the new second gen uh, scalable processor, some of you may know it uh, better as a Cascade Lake Refresh product, which is the top name of the product. So um, after we launched the product, Huawei is also, uh, they, they, they tested the product, they validated the platform, and then they also bring in new product, new server, adapting this uh, CPU to the market. You can see a full range of uh, Huawei uh, Fusion Server Pro Intelligent Server, right? So they have the full product lineup for different industry segments and for different workloads as well. So again, as I mentioned, Huawei is always going hand in hand with Intel when uh, bringing uh, new technology, new product to our customers. So um, the, the, the Cascade Lake Refresh product is already tested and validated in the server mainstream server product line. For example, uh, the 1288HV5, the 2288HV5, the 2298V5, um, the 5288V5, the high density server six, X6000 series V5, and the Blade server E9000. Of course, for further detail, go ahead and check with your Huawei sales representative uh, so that you can understand more about the product. So it's available. Go check it out. And then on this page um, shows the collaboration between Intel and Huawei from a different angle, from a different perspective. So uh, on top of just product collaboration, we are also um, uh, going to bring uh, technology or um, uh, co-marketing or technical workshops even uh, together for these key customers in the world. So as you can see, there are quite some big names there that you can easily recognize. Say for example, Tencent, Vodafone, China Telecom, PCSS. These are big customers. And Intel, we have our account executive to cover this customer. And then Huawei side, they will collaborate with Intel in uh, projects, in uh, customer workshop, and all these kind of activities. We are going hand in hand uh, to do all the great things for our customers. Okay, so after we talk about the relationship between Intel and Huawei, I will uh, talk a little bit about our new product um, so that you know what's going on. So, um, first of all, this page is about the second gen um, Intel Xeon scalable processor that we have been talking a lot about uh, for the past year. So, I'm not going to repeat a lot of things uh, in this file, uh, but again, I want to point out something. So, first of all, this generation of product is one of the fastest uh, ramping product in uh, Intel Xeon processor history. And then, uh, the second thing I want to highlight is about how you are able to identify the second gen product. So as you can see, the uh, second digit of the processor number is uh, two. So uh, the number two is uh, actually referring to the second generation. 
So if you still remember uh, the year before when we first launched, the, uh, I mean, when we uh, launched the first generation product, the number is one. So Skylake product, number one. Skylake product, second gen, is number two. It's that simple, right? But then uh, also for the second generation, we are having a lot of uh, workload optimized skills that you may see some other uh, characters at the back of uh, the processor number, we call it the processor options. Right, so I'm not going to talk a lot uh, about those kind of processor, uh, but if you uh, need further information, either come uh, check with the Intel, check with your, your Huawei research representative. So uh, the main topic today is actually talk about the new second gen Xeon Intel, uh, Intel Xeon scalable processor. So um, in fact, a lot of you may uh, uh, know this new processor as a Cascadic Refresh. It's actually not just the Refresh product. We are launching, uh, we're also launching a uh, few new skill on top of the so-called our skill as well at the same time. So, um, so first of all, um, I, I wanted to highlight some points that uh, what Intel is bringing to customers with this uh, new products, right? Uh, for of course, for more mainstream performance. So it's an average of thirty six before I mean thirty six percent improved in performance gen over gen. So imagine it's only one year since we first launched uh, the, the second gen Xeon Intel Scalable Pro Processor product. And this year we are already bringing uh, to our customer a 36% improvement in performance, right? And also we are launching few skills with uh, uh, industry leading frequencies uh, for peak performance uh, for up to uh, 3.9 gigahertz uh, and also up to 4.5 gigahertz with turbo. And uh, for those kind of product, we're also offering a 44% more cash. And from performance uh, price point of view, uh, we are also offering an average of 42% improvement gen over gen. So it's a huge improvement. If you think about it, it's just one year ago, gen from gen, it's 42%. It's not performance, it's performance per price, right? So it's a huge improvement. Okay, this page uh, is to reiterate the benefit that Intel is bringing to our customers with the newest uh, second gen Xeon scalable processor. So we continue to deliver uh, innovation, performance, and mail to the data center. So uh, with the reverse product design and production, uh, the new selection of the processor offers a peak frequency for high performance workload. And uh, we are also bringing uh, enhanced performance to the mainstream segment. And also, we increase uh, the value and the capability uh, for the single socket entry level segment. So, and, 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 and the key message here again, uh, I, I want to point out again that Intel is offering all these benefits to our customers at similar or lower price point. This page uh, gives you a little bit more detail about the product that we are launching. So, first of all, it's two new. Uh, 62000 uh, series uh, processor. Uh, one is the 6256, and uh, the, the, the other one is a 6250 processor. So they're delivering uh, groundbreaking uh, base frequency and turbo frequency. So if you are comparing with the previous product, uh, these two new processors is offering 7% increase in base frequency. About nine percent increase in turbo frequency and thirty third percent, thirty three percent more of the cash. So, uh, of course, this uh, new product it's also uh, offering built in AI uh, acceleration uh, with Intel Deep Learning Boost, and uh, this processor will also support uh, the, the the new memory product that Intel is offering, the so called uh, Intel Optane uh, Persistent Memory. And this page um, is for the mainstream product, the, the so-called 6000 series, uh, the hour skills, right? So as you can see, um, the message is very simple and very, very straightforward that we are offering more costs, more threats, higher base frequency, higher turbo frequency, and uh, more processor cache. So compare, so these are, are, are the six uh, series uh, our skills and compare with the, the previous generation, the non our skills, we are offering all these benefits. Uh, and of course, the, this processor is also, also coming uh, with the built-in AI capability and also it will support uh, the latest uh, memory product. 
And again, I, I, I want to highlight again and again uh, is that we are offering all these benefits at similar or lower price point. And then for the next uh, two files, it's actually uh, showing you uh, more products, uh, the refresh product that, that, that is coming out uh, in Q1 this year. Um, it's uh, the silver series and, and the bronze series. We are also, bring, also uh, bringing some new products to the market. Okay, now, so uh, we pretty much covered the process of parts. So uh, I want to move on a little bit to talk about uh, uh, some new Intel storage product. So traditionally, um, the, 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 the data is uh, either being stored in, uh, in the memory or the storage like the SSD or traditional hard drive. But in fact, there is a huge gap between these two product categories. So in order to have a truly workload optimized uh, system architectures, uh, we have to fill the gap between these two uh, product hierarchy and uh, so that we can uh, more efficiently turn uh, the data that we have collected from a burden to a real asset. So um, we know that our customers are facing a lot of pain points. So DRAM is just too expensive. And not just expensive, it's limited in capacity size. And it's really there, a, it's creating a lot of impacts as our customer is trying to turn the data into variable insights. So um, the current situation is uh, uh, that uh, the scaling up of uh, the system is expensive and CPU just get underutilized as uh, we are encountering idle bottlenecks and limitation at the system level that prevent efficiencies and growth. Traditional memory just don't get to the capacity needed for uh, IMDB and certain memory demanding uh, web application. So uh, with the Intel obtain persistent memory, uh, Intel can help improve TCO, not just uh, from the memory pricing itself, but uh, through other areas like um, reduce software licensing costs, uh, no consolidations and power efficiencies and other operation efficiencies. Um, but of course, it's not just about uh, cost. It's also about uh, the infrastructure cons consolidations, uh, which you can imagine it as a, a, a do more for, for the overall infrastructures. So um, we have seen customers uh, using uh, our Intel Optic system memory uh, in order to, to get uh, the infrastructure consolidated. Um, so, um, so the, 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 the increase in memory size from these uh, Intel memory products provides the opportunity to consolidate workloads that have been spread across these different nodes and uh, leaving CPU underutilized in the past. And then right now they can con uh, concentrating or consolidating the workloads on fewer nodes. Uh, so ultimately it can uh, help them save on the deployment uh, time and uh, also trying to maximize the CPU utilizations. So that means each node can do more and each CPU can do more. So ultimately the um, ability to save more, do more and go faster with the Intel uh, Optane Persistent Memory allow us to deliver performance, uh, the TCO dollars benefit for our customers uh, on larger scales that have been limited by the current memory uh, and storage hierarchy. Um, and then uh, the, 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 the cost, those customers that will benefit uh, the most from these uh, groundbreaking products are those with uh, larger capacity running key workloads such as uh, IMDB, uh, analytics, a large number of VMs, containers where CPU are uh, usually underutilized. The last product that I want to talk about is our new SSDs. Uh, the D4800X uh, uh, dual port Intel Optane SSD. So it's actually um, an additional uh, SSD product that helps to fill the gap between the RAM uh, and, and the traditional storage as uh, performance, high performance uh, storage solutions. Um, so this uh, last foils is uh, about how uh, how you can read uh, and understand uh, processes from the processor name. So the first uh, digit is the processor level uh, that you can tell it's uh, either a bronze, a silver, gold, or platinum uh, level of CPU. And then the second digit is the generation, as I explained before. One is the first generation, and two is the second generation. And then the next two digits is just a skill number it's, uh, uh, before, right? And then uh, the last character is the CPU uh, options. 
processor options uh, that can refer to specific uh, workload uh, optimized, uh, optimization. This is all my sharing today, and thank you very much for watching, and I am handling, I'll handle this uh, back to the center. We are committing a long-term and stable partnership with Huawei in the future.